so today we're going to talk about making uh, sticky boards and how to do it cheaply by using cardboard or box tops and uh, I'm going to show you next all the tools that you need to do it and the reason that we are doing mite counts is to check to see what level of mites our bees can take uh, the mites drop through the screen bottom board onto the sticky board and when we do a count we can check the amount of mites that we have in 24 hours so let me show you first the tools that we need so here are some of the tools that we need a square a tin of paint paintbrush a sharpie pen tape measure and of course a box cutter the other things that we're going to need are something that you can just get down at the supermarket a cardboard box any type but try to get one that has a consistent bottom so you don't have to cut it or paste it or use tape so the first thing that you need to do is to check your solid bottom board and your screen bottom board because we're going to use both of these together in your hive the depth is about 20 inches uh, it needs to be a little longer than 20 inches because you need to pull it out when you're done Okay. Okay, so what we want to do now is try and put some lines on the on the board. We've painted it. Um, you can paint both sides. Um, this is cardboard, so the more you more paint you put on it, is the longer it'll it'll last. Remember, it has to be outside in in the elements, and you know sometimes rain and stuff will make cardboard get very soft. Um, these are not the best boards, but they are the cheapest to make at this time so I'm just going to draw up a couple of lines on the board it is really for the purpose of a guide to be able to count the mites because uh, sometimes there are over over 400 mites and trying to count that without really checking you know uh, doing it square by square is very difficult so here we're going to put the lines on the board
So this here is your finished sticky board with all the squares in it. Okay, now we want to put it into the hive. So here I've got the basic setup that you would have with a hive. The brood box, the top cover and the screen bottom board. Alright, and the bees would be going in here right inside here the bees will be going into there and and any mites that are in the hive are dropping through that screen bottom board okay so what we need now to do is to take the solid bottom and put it with the with the entrance facing the back of the hive so we're leaving the front of the hive as it was and the bees are going in there and we're going to take this solid bottom board and face it to the back of the hive. So the new setup would be, this is the front entrance of the hive, this is where the bees are coming in and you can see the solid bottom board is there at the bottom of the hive and this is where we put our sticky board now you cover this with Vaseline and you put it in this is the this is the uh, solid bottom there facing backwards and you put your sticky board inside here Okay, so looking inside the hive, what we see is that there's a screen here and the mites will fall right through onto the, onto the sticky board down below. <laughs> 